YouTube, welcome back to another video. I was on plot five. I'm playing Endymion, Magician. Look at all these wins. Look at all, look at win, 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 we went from plot five to plot one in three hours. Look at all these total number of turns. Two, one, two, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Not a single duel exceeded over three turns. Like, it's truly insane. Now I'm going to show you guys the deck list. Before I show you guys the deck list, I want you guys to do yourselves a massive favor. I just officially launched my Patreon, my Master Duel Training Patreon. So if you guys want to learn how to put up those 20 victories in a row like I did on Platinum with Pendulums, Make sure to sign up my Patreon down in the description below. Highly, highly advise it. Tips and tricks every single day. I'm telling you guys, man, this deck is truly a work of art. And I'll explain everything in depth. Don't worry. But you guys got to smash the subscribe button and the like button first. Let's go. Now, you're going to look at the deck and you're going to think there's 48 cards. There's 48 cards. There's 48 cards. Why are you playing 48 cards? Well, there is no rule in Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's just stick to 40. If I were to cut this deck to 40, wonder what I would remove? I would remove chicken game, maybe a lore. Why the heck would you ever remove an allure or a chicken game? This is the equivalent of playing Drytron and removing Drytron Alpha from your deck. Why would you do that? Only betas would do that. And only alphas would play pendulums. You want spells to trigger off your servant and your abductor. You have nine ways to them. Servant, abductor, and your mastery. But you're not actually playing a 48 card deck. If you look at the draw power, like this has the better draw power than any deck in history of Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's count the draw power quickly. Three upstart goblins, one terror room for chicken game, that's four. Three allures, seven. Three into the void, ten. Three desires, thirteen. Three chicken game, sixteen. This deck has sixteen draw cards. So instead of playing a 48 card deck, you're actually playing a 32 card deck. So it looks like it's 48, but you're playing less cards than anyone else in the world. You're actually playing a 32 card deck. Which is incredibly broken because of all the draw power you're playing. But by playing more cards in your deck, you're ensuring for one, that you're going to resolve Servant and Abductor and Mastery every single time that you open them. And for and if you don't open them, Electrum will get them for you. And then three, also, you're not going to draw so many doubles. Because you're playing 48 cards, if you draw a double Desires or if you draw a, a double Spell Power Mastery, you're most likely not going to do it. And even if you were because you're playing a higher deck, if you have Magician Souls that you search off Abductor, that you search off Servant... That you search off mastery, you have like 30 ways to abductor. You just search your souls and you discard the extra card. Anyways, I'm gonna explain everything in depth. For all the new players that don't know what the cards do, I'll go through the name on the top left so you guys can look through them all. Let's go. As you guys notice here, I'm just gonna pull out the trip math glasses. And I notice here that my friend Augustine Field on my Twitch just said, Since I follow Triff Patreon, I can set a seven to gate board, easy clap, easy game, pen best deck. I think that is very true. I think that is very true. So I'm going to say one last time. It'll change your life. I have two Mayan, one X4. Since I joined, joined Trif Patreon, I went from Pepega Summon, a try, get Valor, pass, to 10 to gate through 10 hand traps, pen, giga chat, changing my life, 11 out of 10. So if you guys want to follow these as well, I highly advise it. Now let's get into the actual deck list with the Trif Math glasses. So Dragon Pit, you want to make sure Harmonizing has more Magicians. You want to make sure it has more Magicians than just itself and Poison and Celestial. So you had a high scale and a level 7 in Dragon Pit. The idea of this deck is a Demian Magician. The Magicians give meat to the deck. It gives low scale or high scale. Joker, search low scale, high scale. Penko, search low scale, high scale. Alliance, search low scale, high scale. Allure, banish anything. It gives a serious meat. And Demian is fragile by itself. But Magicians, they don't have like a crazy powerful thing to itself. So when you combine the Demian and the Magician itself, it's like combining... A Chad with the family. All of us together. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. So when you combine it together, it's just beautiful, this beautiful mix of 22 victories out of 23 matches. And I highly advise you guys, man, play this deck. It's absolutely insane. One pit, only play one souls. As you notice, there's no Crowley. There's no spell books. Our game plan is Electromite, not Crowley. And if we normal summon Joker, we ensure that even if our Joker, let's uh, normal summon Joker, Imperm, sure, Electrum. Let's say you normal Joker. They're scared of Electrum. Joker, get your, your, get your scale. You're missing. Make Electrum, make a tantrum. Doesn't matter if your scales because of Joker. Incredible. Three Servant, three Abductor. You play one Pendulum Sorcerer because it's very, 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 very good to have Pen Sork because it's a card that you search with, either with Joker or with Duelist Alliance. Very powerful. And there's a lot of cool things you could do with it. 
Triple Abductor, absolutely broken. You need to play Abductor in any single Pendulum variant, especially with these spell cards. Double Harmo, one, and for the cards you get with Harmo, you don't need to play Oath, Double Iris. Double Iris, Pengraph is bad with, uh, without enough Magicians. You're not playing many Magicians. It's only good in Pure. You don't need Wisdom Eye because you're not trying to go for that Wisdom Eye play. So you play Pit, Poison, and Celestial. Celestial is also a target of Pensork, so it works out together. These are just some of the names you guys want to see in the top left. Curtain Razor, absolutely better than Foolish and Dragon Shrine. Uh, you could, if you really want to in this deck, play one Dark Worm. It could be a solid call. Play one Dark Worm, one Gate Zero, and have Abductor search your Dark Worm and Pen Call the Dark Worm. That could be a viable strategy, but I don't want to play Bricks in the deck, and I feel hard drawing the Dark Worm without a Pen Call as a Brick, and same with Gate Zero. Curtain Razor is a card that guaranteed 1 billion percent is a scale for you. And the deck is perfectly balanced right now with low scale and high scale. It's perfectly balanced as all things should be. Shout out Thanos. So if we were to add, change out the add Dark Room and Gate Zero, we would lack some high scales. It's just perfect exactly how it is. One Jackal, you don't need to play more. If you hard draw Jackal, you don't want it. It's not a good card to draw. It doesn't help you break through boards or push through boards. Astrograph is not ironically the 48th card in this deck. I am firmly 100% actually think the really thinking about it of cutting Astrograph. That would be so absurd to think with Electromite. It does come up every now and then, but you're really going for Endymion plays. A lot of the time Electromite sends Mighty Master versus sending an Astrograph. But it is nice to have in the deck. It is nice to have in the deck. And there's some cool stuff you can do with Time Star searching Astrograph when your Electromite gets hand trapped. So I kept that in. Double Master, you don't need to play more than that. You don't play Mythical Beast Cerberus either. You could if you want. Like, if you put a Mythical Beast Cerberus in this deck, it's fine. You could. But then you're you're, you're playing less spells now. You Like, if I could cut this deck to 40 and still play 30 spells, I would. But you can't. You actually can't. If you want to cut Ask you have to make a 47, sure. But there's nothing else in the deck that could be cut. You cannot cut Curtain Razor to 2. It's one of the best cards in the deck. Because it's a spell card by itself. And on top of it being a spell card, it's special summons. Because once it puts itself to the field, you draw and you, you scale another card, being another spell for uh, Servant and Abductor. So this deck actually plays 20 monsters and 28 spells. Meaning Servant, Abductor, and Mastery are bound to have 3 spells every time you open them. Triff Math. 3 Upstart, Terraform, and Triple Lord, Triple Into the Void, Triple Chicken Game. Then you got Triple Desires, all the draw power, Triple Pen Call, Triple Alliance, so 6 Pen Call, or Alliance Call Search Pen Sork, if you already have it, and Triple Mastery. Deck is truly insane. Now, some people don't really know how to play around Into the Void. Let me teach you something. Into the Void is never dead. It's never dead. If it's your third card, you can activate it. This deck pluses like crazy. It'll be, never be dead. But in terms of discarding your hand, if you activate Into the Void, just don't be an idiot. Be aware that you activate Into the Void. So you set your spells, and on your next turn, you use your spells for one. For two, you're putting up a 5 negate board. Whatever you have in your hand is irrelevant. Your opponent's not breaking a 5 negate board. For three, Celestial Magician works it Into the Void. So Into the Void, the way it works is you discard your hand first, and then Celestial Magician, you add after. So you're still adding your follow-up of Joker. Joker is the best follow-up in this deck because you search a low scale or high scale. So even through Into the Void, you still get a follow-up of Celestial Magician. I just read a message say, why Pot of Desires? I'm not even going to ask. I'm not even going to answer that. I'm not even going to answer that. Why did Salamangrates play Salamangrate Gazelle? I, have a, I actually have a question. If Legend High End can answer, why does Salamangrate play, play Salamangrate Gazelle? That's the equivalent of asking, why are you playing Pot of Desires in an Endymion deck? What the heck? Anyways, absolutely perfection. If you want to cut anything, you cut the Astrograph at 47. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Don't cut Dragon Pit. Don't cut Astrograph. Don't cut anything else. Exactly as you see it, is perfect as it is. Next. Our extra deck. We got Vortex and Absolute. Required for the combo of level 7s. One Starving Venom is very good. Very, very good to have as follow-up. Now, I'm going to show you the cards that could be seen as, like, not absolutely required. The Zodiac Engine in this deck is insane. Because you always end on extra level 4s. Uh, and you go Chakanine on top of 2 level 4s and make Dryden on top. It is truly amazing to have in this deck. It really, really is. You even do some cool plays when you can't pop your Absolute or you don't want to link off an Appaloosa where you Dryden pop your Appalo uh, Absolute to summon a Vortex. You also Dryden pop your Chakanine in turn 1 because that's 3 materials. And it's a great card to have with Negates. If you have 4-5 Negates with a Dryden as a pop, it's nice to have. What if your opponent's playing Zodiac? Zodiac loses to 1 Dryden, let alone 1 Dryden with 4 Negates. Uh, one thing I can recommend is Savage Dragon. You don't go into it much. But it's still a very nice card to have. Of course, it's a very nice card to have. It's Savage Dragon. But you actually rarely go into it because of how the combo goes. 
in future videos, I'll show you show you guys the combo. Uh, I don't want like a thirty minute video, but Savage Dragon could be cut. But it's nice to have as like a backup negate. If you were to cut Savage Dragon, I would advise put a double second Starving Venom. A second Starving Venom ensures that that your second turn and your third turn you have more Electrums to play with. You have more Electrums to play with. If Baron the Floor ever comes back, I, I, it comes to uh, this, I would play one extra Oaf Dragon over Purple Poison. Or, or over uh, Dragon Pit, perhaps. And I would then play Baron the Floor in this extra deck. But as of right now, uh, Savage Dragon is, if you really want to take it out. And Time Star, you can also take out if you want. Don't remove Chakanine Dryden. Don't remove Baguska. Baguska is your backup if you get Maxi. You can tell if they have Maxi by the way the toggle works. So the second you realize they have Maxi, you build your hand in a way where you set up a Jackal and or master and or baguska two or three of them if they out the baguska you got jackal master if they don't out the baguska they pass and if they you can't make a baguska you got jackal master so you're gonna make them draw two cards through maxi but they still have a big board so you're gonna have two negates uh through maxi versus zero and they're only drawing one extra card uh you could take out time star and savage as i said what i would remove for them is a second a starting venom and the 15th card in your extra deck could be anything you want it could be anything you want I have actually yet to summon Zeus, but it's very nice to have a Zeus in the extra deck. I've yet to summon Zeus, but it's very nice to have in here. Uh, Electromite, Cross Sheep for Vortex combos, which is also debatable if you want to remove. And two Selene, all you need, Appaloosa, Access Code Talker. This deck is absolutely broken. Go first or go second. And that's why we won 13 in a row, and I believe 21 of 23. I forgot the number. But it's truly, 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 truly broken. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got this far, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. I want you guys to smash the like button for more Pendulum content. Comment down below what you guys think of this absolutely incredible deck. And lastly, 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 check out the Patreon on patreon.com slash Gaming. You can even ask my Twitch chat. One person who actually signed up for my Patreon, this is a true story, he actually got cured from cancer just from watching the videos. So he also got cured from COVID, and he got cured from being a virgin. He actually, uh, yeah, just literally right after watching the Patreon, he just turned into a non-virgin. This is a true story. Uh, and yeah, so make sure to go sign up. Also, if you guys want beautiful Triff play mats, check out www.trippgaming.com. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Peace!